Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. I am sitting here uh, waiting for a state inspector to show up so that we can get a, uh, our approval and move forward. And I thought, well, why I'm just waiting for the inspector to show up, we would go ahead and do a video. Unless this is him. Nope, that's not him. So, okay, let's go ahead and get it right into it then. Um, today we're going to talk about heat recovery. Okay, Heat recovery is a method of recovering any type of heat before it just exits the building. Um, and in one case, uh, for say light commercial uh, residential applications uh, where we're doing air exchanges, um, what you do is you're bringing in fresh air, but you're also exhausting stale air. So what you'll do is you'll have what's called a heat recovery ventilator. Heat recovery ventilator will bring the air in and run it through a media as the other air is being drawn over the top of that media. Okay, so the media, and I'll draw a little closer... detail of that media but basically as the as the air is leaving it it comes in contact through an exchanger and that heat will then transfer into this line and go back into the building so it pr basically pre-warms the air coming in as it pulls the heat out of the air that's leaving the building okay so let's uh, see if we can erase some of this. Okay. Now that media uh, and a heat recovery ventilator basically is a corrugated box. It's a very crude drawing, but You know what the edge of cardboard looks like so it's corrugated so the air can travel through the corrugations this direction and leave but what it also does is allows the the other side of this is corrugated as well like so so the air will go in here okay and come out there and it'll also go in here and come out there so what happens is it's like every other one you know maybe this one is solid and this one's solid okay hopefully that makes sense um, you can also uh, if you wanted to look up heat recovery ventilators online you can see a little more detail all right, so let's go ahead and uh, start a, uh, a, add a new page here. I'm going to do another style. Okay, another uh, style of heat recovery that I've seen is for, uh, uses water, okay? So again, the same concept, except for we're drawing, uh, let's say we're, we're taking stale air and we're exhausting it outside, okay? But before we exhaust it outside, we're running it through a, a coil and that goes outside now that coil is then piped to another coil and this coil now is bringing air in to the building okay and we have a pump here pumping the water around. So again, the same concept except for you we're using water to transfer from here into the other coil, bringing it back in. 
again, we're just tempering the air before we bring it in. And then this is in, in, a, in a much larger um, commercial application and um, also possibly an industrial application. Yeah, just Okay, so those are the two, uh, uh, there's the two common styles. Um, but now let's talk about uh, heat recovery when it comes to refrigeration. Um, let's add a new page and we'll start here. Okay, so let's say um, we're dealing with a supermarket. Okay, we've got all, we got the compressor room. And we'll just draw a real simple, um, uh, we'll draw a real simple refrigeration system. So we have evaporator, metering device, condenser. Okay. So as the hot gas goes through the condenser, which typically gets exhausted, you know, with, with a fan, it gets exhausted outside. What we're going to do here before we do the exhausting of that, we're going to run this through a heat exchanger. Okay, so there is a water line in and there's a water line out. And this might go to a um, a water tank. So we're going to be heating the water. So as the hot gas comes through here, the water is pulling heat off before it's put outside, and all that extra heat is stored in the hot water tanks. Okay, so that's a way to recover uh, some of your um, uh, energy before it leaves the house, or, or before we, before it leaves the building. So we're taking it out of the out of the coolers, out of the product. Here's our here's our cooler and our product, and we are transferring it and putting the heat into the water tanks. All right, so that's a pretty those pretty basic explanation of heat recovery. Um, if you want any more uh, explanation, uh, leave some comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.